Oh, B does nothing for me. You won't be sorry. Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want. Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want. You are done for! Forgive me! Forgive me, boy, only me! One, two, three, four, one. I'll do anything you want. One, two, Please, three, four. You won't be sorry. This earlier. When you buy a bag, you get another one free. It's common practice to bait people with bonus prizes. Whoever bought that bag should have received another one as a bonus prize, which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. So please, just stop making desperate excuses. After I go over your crime from the beginning and show that you have no arguments left, please just admit it already. In the end, at least let me believe in you. Closing argument. This incident is the surveillance camera video that only I saw. That's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. When I went to the hospital with Nikon this morning, I noticed a specific thing in the lobby. The incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. When I switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was a person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. That surveillance camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music room. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music room, so I immediately headed over there. But that was the killer's trap. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. By doing so, 
They tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time, when in fact, the crime had already been committed by that point. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. I didn't know that, so I went to the music video and found the hanged body wearing a bag on his head. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. But that was also part of the killer's trap. After cleaning the conference room, the killer was likely watching the music venue from outside. And as if they were switching places with me, they went inside the music venue and began working on their last trick. First, the killer peeled off the wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars, revealing Kyoko's body. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper or have Hyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music venue, but when they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. However, they did this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked from the inside. In actuality, the reason the music venue became a closed room was because of the glue. The killer sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. With that, the killer finished tampering with the crime scene and met up with Fuyuhiko and me. They helped us force open the music venue door, despite the fact that they personally sealed it. And they made us discover not just Ibuki's body, but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but inside, they were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Isn't that right, Mikan? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? I did, like, look at this. I actually started off so well and then just fell apart. Look at, look at how bad I just fell a freaking part. 14, 15, and 16, I just fucking fell on my face. Like, I would, and technically part 10, which I don't know what part that is. To you. Whoa there, before we do that, a moment of your time. It seems your arguments have reached a conclusion, so let's proceed to our regularly scheduled voting time. Now then, please pull your level and cast your vote. Yeah. Okay. Now then, though it may be obvious to this point, you've got it right once again. That's like three in a row. That's right. The true identity of this horrifying blackhead who killed two of our girls was Mekon. Damn it. You gotta be shitting me. Are you saying Mekon, who nursed us back to health, was the one who killed them? Don't joke around with me, Mekon. Did you lie to us all along? Were you planning to kill them from the start while you were nursing them? <laughs> hey. Don't just laugh. Say something. This is not going anywhere. <laughs> What's going on? This chick. This is nothing like Peko. She's actually gone mental. That's obvious. 
Oh, there's nothing that we can do. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the Mikon Sumiki we knew. Huh? Based on my predictions, she might have actually caught it too. She probably had the despair disease, which was the motive for this case. What? Mikon too, you say? I... I know, because I was looking at Mikon for so long. She was the one who taken care of me after all. My consciousness kept drifting, but even so, when I did catch a glimpse of her, her expression was full of despair. A despair so devoid of hope that not a single fragment of it remained. Hold on, did you say Mikon also had the despair disease? Then that means she was... What? Huh? Hi, Ime. Has something crossed your mind? My body's heavy. Not just my body, but it's somewhat soft and really hot. That's right. Mekon felt really hot at the time. That's right. Mekon felt really hot at the time. Now that I think about it, it must have been a high fever. Just like Ibuki's and Akane had. It cannot be. Then, because of the disease Mekon was... Perhaps. The symptoms that she felt sure... Or that she surely felt from the... Or must have been deserving for the name of the despair disease. Losing all hope and harboring despair for all hope. Because dis the despair disease, she was likely overcome with despair. See? That's the reason why she can still laugh in such a hopeless situation. <laughs> Jeez. Which means the Mekon standing before us is no longer the ultimate nurse. She's a completely different person now that she's been infected by the despair disease. Isn't that right? She's a human who deserves to be called the ultimate despair. Ultimate despair. <laughs> I... That's the reason why I cannot forgive this. I mean, killing for the sake of despair instead of for the sake of hope. Possible. There's no way that I can forgive that. Oh? For the sake of despair... Huh. That's completely wrong. Huh? Wrong. Wrong. What's wrong? What I did is for the sake of my beloved. Huh? Huh? Who are you talking about? <laughs> if only they were alive, they'd be so happy. I know. What? My beloved was the only one. That's right. The only one who never hated me. They forgave my existence. They forgave me and accepted me. They gave me value. They loved me. I loved them with all my heart, and they returned it in full. This is my reciprocation. What? <laughs> I understand that I've done something unforgivable, but you know, but you know, to transcend all that is truly love. what love is all about. Hey. I don't understand. What are you saying? <laughs> you don't understand. It's because you don't have anyone to love. It is because you're also someone who isn't accepted by anyone. <sighs> ah, what a pity. I feel sorry for you. Well. Even if I say this, I'm sure nobody here would understand, but... Love is a wonderful thing. Ah, the feeling of freedom where you can no longer care about anything. My beloved and I are the ones within that thin veil, and I'm just looking through it. That is why, as long as I'm on the inside, no matter how much they tease me, splash me with water, kick me, it's like nothing matters. I can just die. That's how little it matters. Who cares about hope or despair? It's love and only love. Nagito. Is this really the despair disease you were talking about? This is. It seems that I was wrong. Not only was she inflicted by despair. <sighs> you were half right. It's to say that this is all thanks to that disease. Because thanks to that disease, I was able to remember my beloved. Remember? <laughs> Apparently, that was my sim that was what my symptom was. <laughs> what a wonderful symptom. Which means you had the remembering disease but but if this means she remembered something and ended up like this are you saying that you were like this from the start 
Were you like this before you even came to this island? Just don't get so angry. For well, first of all, the reason that I became like this wasn't my fault. It was all your fault, you know? Because it's not like I'm entirely responsible for turning out like this. I am the person I am today because of many human relationships. So you see, it's everyone's fault that I turned out like this, you see? Even so, the current me was most strongly influenced by my beloved's existence. And it was also my beloved who created the me that everyone can't forgive. But my beloved still forgives me and still accepts me. That is a key difference between all of you and my beloved. Don't fuck with me. Like I said, who the fuck are you even talking about? <laughs> are you saying this is Mikon? She's the real Mikon? Mikon, please answer me. Do you really remember? You ended up like this all because you remembered. There's no way I can believe that. No way that a person you the person you are right now is the real Mikon. <laughs> oh, you still doubt me? Then to prove I remember, I'll tell you something nice. It's about that world ender organization that you all are worried about. You serious? You know? <laughs> Not no. I just remembered, that's all. I knew about it all along. How horrifying the organization was known as World Ender. It's also the organization known as the Future Foundation. Future Foundation. Future. That's right. That symbol on the ancient ruined door. That's right. It was Japanese for the word future. Hey. Just what is the Future Foundation and what are they planning? As the name suggests, that organization is the World Ender. The Future Foundation is trying to end our world. To put it simply, they're trying to claim the world for themselves. What the heck? This isn't a comic book, you know. <laughs> As part of their plan they to end the world, the Future Foundation brought us to this island. <laughs> isn't that right, Monomi? <laughs> huh? I knew it. Monomi, Monokuma, they're both members of that crazy organization, aren't they? <laughs> Monomi and I aren't members. I am Monokuma! My existence is entirely my own. <laughs> Don't laugh. Hey, Mikon, if you do remember, then you already know, right? You know the true identity of the traitor hiding among us. <laughs> of course I know that. Let's see, the future Foundation's lackey that's hiding among you all is... Oh, well, no one really cares about that, don't you think? Of course not. Oh, hell no. <laughs> You'll find out eventually, so there's no need to be impatient. Probably when the countdown ends. Countdown? You... You know about, even know about that? No. I don't know anything. Huh? I have a feeling that's what, what it is, but who cares about it, you know? <laughs> I'm drowning in so much love from the bottom of my heart. I just don't care about anyone or anything. Yes. Mikon, is this really you? I won't believe it. There is no way I can believe you were like this all along. Because if that's true, then who is the person who's been spending, t who's been spending time with up till now? The past. P -p past. The per that person, she didn't exist in the beginning. She was just a past self who lost her school memories. <laughs> <laughs> you guys considered that thing a friend? Oh. Uh, that doesn't make me happy at all. It just fills me with despair. You guys accepted my past self, but not my present self? That's... Well, well that applies to you as well. Memories of people, memories of events, whatever memory it is, losing memories are like losing your personal identity. Memory is the most important component in building a person, don't you think? Losing our memories makes us shadows of our past, don't you think? <sighs> I don't know what you're trying to say, but in the end, it always leads back to that story. That story about our stolen school lives. Hey. So, it was true all along? Our memories have been taken away? Damn it. If, it, that, if it wasn't true, we wouldn't be suffering as this much. Well, why don't you guys take your sweet time and just remember at your own pace, okay? Oh, oh Monokuma, is that all right if you start now? Yes, indeed. Punishment time? Damn it, why? Mikon, why do you have to end it like this? This is too pointless. This is... Too much. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. For the ultimate nurse, Mikon Sumiki. So over, sweet Surya. Now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. 
I can finally see them. Please forgive me. The one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! Oh my god. Bye bye, ouchies. Ultimate nurse, Mekon execution. Whoa. What the heck? It's finished. Is it really finished? The killer who killed Ibuki Mayota and Hiyoko Sayanji was Mikon, and she's been executed. She apparently committed her crime because she was afflicted by the despair disease. So what? What's finished? Nobody wanted it to end this way. Let me ask. Who was the Mikon from earlier? Was it her true form, or was it that? Or is that itself a symptom of the despair disease? It. it doesn't matter either, either way. If she ended up like that just from remembering, then all along, Mikon was never worth being a symbol of hope. But... Even if her words were influenced by the despair disease, the disease turned her into that. If she lost herself to a simple disease, she was definitely unworthy of being a symbol of hope. Isn't that right? So let's just move on. <laughs> Come on. Let's all take this despair and change it to hope. Please wait. That is impossible. I mean, I thought we were friends this whole time, but even so. Like a house of cards collapsing in an instant, the end of our friend we thought we knew ended up showing us a completely different side of herself. Then she vanished from her sight, leaving behind only malice towards us. And now, there's no way I can just move on or try to have a clear-cut attitude about these feelings. That's clearly impossible. Damn it. It's... Would have been so much easier if she was, she was the traitor, too. Wrong. Too bad. That's not the case. Mekon was not the traitor. The traitor is still alive. As proof, see how fine Monami looks right now. I'm not fine at all. Hmm? But if the traitor died, you wouldn't be this calm, right? I mean, if both pawns of the future Fonda foundation... I mean, you're both pawns of the future foundation. So you guys are like... Two hearts beating at once, right? Fiend. What does that make you, fiend? You did say that you're different than Monomi. Who cares about who I am? More important, I'm tired. The drama just kept going and going and going, and I didn't even have time to to eat my black bean right eye during the break. Hey. You're right. Eye is made out of black beans. Hey, hey. Wait, now's not the time to focus on that. What are you trying to say? Hey. Well, you know, isn't it said that life has its ups and downs? It is fun because ups and, or downs come after ups. But if life was full of downs, it wouldn't be boring. Yeah. So, in order for you guys to feel better, I've prepared a special event. Special event? <laughs> Head over to the First Island's Beach. An old friend will be waiting for there. There, an old friend. Huh? Could it be Nekamaru? Hey. Is it? Is it? It is, isn't it? Nekamaru is safe after all. Um, safe. How should I say this? Um, I knew it. I knew that crazy bastard Nekamaru would come back to us in one piece. <laughs> awesome. We're starting to see the light of hope. Um, the light of hope? Um, I'm happy for Nekamaru returning to us, but... But I... Just as I thought. Three of our friends just died, so I honestly can't be happy. Hmm. Miss Sonia. However... Even so, I am still happy that if Nekamaru is safe, I am truly happy. If you are happy, you should honestly greet him with open arms. Perhaps 
those who have been taken from us would do the same if they still lived. Huh. Hey, Supreme Overlord. Who gives a shit? That line doesn't suit you at all. Silence. Silence. I shall crust you into uh. dust. Abuki Hyoko. Mikon, can you hear us? If you are unhappy, I apologize. However, please forgive me for now. I want to warmly welcome Nekomaru when he returns to us. You don't have to worry, Sonia. I'm sure your feelings are reaching them. Right? Then let's go greet Nekomaru. Let's make a grand, even for those who die. <laughs> huh? What the heck? Do I still have the after effects of that disease? Ugh, I don't get this at all, Akane. All right. All right, then let's go. Yeah, you're right. Nekomaru's coming back? When we heard that, we were unable to contain our excitement as we jumped into the elevator. Man, they just list, ran off without listening to what I had to say. Jeez, they're so impatient. Didn't they learn to stick around until others have finished talking? Um, what, what does that mean? Hey. You are, you're plotting something again, aren't no you? Way. <laughs> I'm not plotting anything. I was just trying to properly explain everything to them. Including Nekomaru's body. Huh? Nekomaru's body. <laughs> it's their fault for not sticking around until I finish talking. <laughs> so if something happens because of that, I bear no responsibility. You, you did, what did you do to Nekomaru? What's this? What did I do? I just saved him. That's all. I mean, if I didn't do that, there's no way I could have saved someone who was that close to death. So, it couldn't be helped. What did he say? Did I miss something? I just say, I mean, if I didn't do that. Oh, it's literally that. Ah. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, good. As soon as we exited the elevator, we started running. Hurry to the beach on the first island. All right, let's haul ass. Even though our minds were completely exhausted, strangely enough, our bodies felt light. Without stopping for anything, we kept running towards the beach on the first island. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get a, a break. Oh, God. Where? Where in the world is Nekamaru? Hey, hey Nekamaru, show yourself. <laughs> we have come to pick you up. Please hurry and come out of hiding. We raised our voices. We looked around the area. We raised our voices again. We looked around the area again. So on and so forth. We kept looking for him, but... Hey, hey. What the hell? He's nowhere to be found. It. Could it be? Did we get a false info from Mek Mek Monokuma again? And then when it happened, we heard a familiar voice echo throughout the beach. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Were y'all looking for me? I'm, I'm nervous. Could it be? That voice. With high hopes in our hearts, we turned towards the direction of the voice. Then we saw something truly unbelievable. Yeah. Huh? What the? Yo, oh, I've kept you waiting. Yeah, I was ready to be done dirty. If he wasn't dead, I was getting done dirty. What's going on? Perhaps you don't remember my face since we haven't seen each other in a while. That's pretty sad, you know. That's too much. <laughs> um, who are you? Huh? You too? What's going on? If you're messing with me, I'll stop doing it to you. Um, Nekomaru? Haven't you noticed it yourself? What do you mean, noticed? Oh, you mean this body? <laughs> this is nothing! The name's Nekomaru Nidai! I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! I was done dirty. Yep, I was done dirty. <laughs> oh God. I'm not, how do I say this without say, like, ah. Uh... Uh, I don't I don't know how to I can't put it to words. I can't put this into words. Because it's like He 
he's become an artificial version of himself. And I would rather, like I said, I would have, I would have rathered him be dead. I, it would have sucked. I would have been like, oh, this is unfortunate. Nine days, 14 hours, 34 minutes, and 16 seconds. Next time on Dangan Rupa 2, Goodbye Despair, we'll carry on to see what happens in the other, the next couple chapters, but I am really worried for where they're going to take Nekamaru. Um, I knew that if Nekamaru were to be alive, that he wouldn't be the same But this is just a whole new level of nervousness and worry about how they're going to take this character. Plus, he's not a stop. But that's not the real reason. I'm very worried about where they're taking this character, genuinely. Um, but only way to find out is to, you know, have some other episodes coming your way. So... Again, see you guys in the next one. Love you all.